In this video, you'll be watching an excerpt from our Revit architecture intro class. I want to talk about levels and grids. So with the project I do these days, it's a little different than this. What I want is instead of 2010-20, I want to do 2020-20. So let me show you how I could do in the, I'm in the architecture tab and I have my datum panel and you can click this grid button here. And then kind of maybe around here, I'll click and then click again to make my first grid line. So that was architecture tab, middle, I found grid and I clicked and clicked. So the plan for these grid lines is mm -hmm. that some of our crucial walls will line up with the grid lines. I'm gonna escape out of everything so I can select the grid line and then I'll put a check mark at the bottom there. So the check mark, you, you might have noticed the difference. When the check mark's there, you see the circle with a number in it. So now I have a label on each end of my grid line. And then I'm going to copy this over and 2020. 20, 20. So I hit my copy button, click on the original. And then I could type 20 or just click when I see 20. And I'll just keep doing that till there's four of them. All right, and then I'll also want grid lines going side to side. So I'll make one that goes from this, from this way to this way. But there's a little more for me to do here. Um, the other thing I wanted to do is if I click into it, I can, so if I click to select it, I can click where it says five and change it to A. Because a lot of times for the ones going up and down, those are letters instead of numbers. So now I have it looking like that. And this one, I want to copy it 15, 5, 5, 15. Okay. I'll select it, run copy, click on my original, and then I do find 15. Kind of hard to find five, so I'll just type it. Five, five, 15. Okay, so something like that. It looks like I want more grid lines across the top. I think the easiest way is to go in here and change the one that says four to six. Change the one that says three mm -hmm. to four. And change the one that says... All right, so maybe maybe the easiest way is just start moving things. So I'm going to move the two 10 units over. And then okay. move the three 20 units over. And then make a couple of copies. I guess I could just delete six. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably easiest. So I have one, two, three, and then I'll just copy them all 10 units over. So it should be that they're all separated by 10 and accounting from one to six. Four, five, and six. So that's what I actually wanted, was for them to be separated by 10 and for them to be six total. If you want, if you can just delete all of them except the first one and then just copy them all over 10. So 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, all the way to the end. So I'll just do that just to show you. So they're only supposed to, they're all supposed to be separated by 10, not 20. And that was my problem. Mm -hmm. And then I go 10. And make sure that one's two. Sometimes it if it messes up the number when you make the copy, it's best to fix the initial copy because then it should figure it out from there. Three, right. four, five. Okay, cool. Okay. All right. And then I want a couple extra ones. About halfway between four and five, I want a 4.1. So I'll copy this over five feet. And then you can sort of resize that one. 
You'll notice as I try to drag it, it's trying to drag all of them. So I have to get rid of that constraint first. And then I can kind of squish it out like that and make that 4.1. So go ahead and you can save your work so far. Okay. So the idea of grid lines is that we'll make walls line up with those lines. CAD Masters offers online and classroom training for a variety of Autodesk software. For more information, go to www.cadmasters.com or give us a call at 925-939-1378.